The i3, a true BMW innovation, hits the market in the fall 2013. The i3 is an all-electric vehicle boasting special qualities. With the introduction of this vehicle, the Bavarian car maker is headed down a whole new path. We have a drive and life module, which is then more or less glued together. That means we do not have a classic pressing plant, we do not have a conventional body shell work, and we do not have a paint spray line for the vehicles. That way, we could achieve extreme goals in terms of sustainability. The i3 is assembled at the BMW plant in Leipzig, and BMW is very proud of what it has accomplished. It is the first car maker to use carbon fiber in a large series production vehicle. Up to now, this extremely lightweight material has been solely reserved for the construction of super sports cars. But BMW found cost-effective ways to utilize carbon fiber in series production vehicles as well. Weight plays a vital role with the i3. The lighter the weight, the greater the distance the car can travel. To achieve this, we use two primary materials. Aluminum, mainly for the undercarriage, where the drivetrain elements, motor, battery and gear assembly are found. And in the car's interior, we also use carbon fiber reinforced plastic. By doing that, we achieved a very low vehicle weight, and that helped us meet the distance requirements we were hoping to achieve with the car. The BMW i3 weighs in at a total of 1,250 kilograms. This low weight would have never been possible without carbon. It is 50% lighter than steel and 30% lighter than aluminum. Nevertheless, the vehicle is extremely safe, thanks to the special construction of the car's body. In a side-on crash test with a vehicle made of steel, the frame is entirely bent. The cabin beam of the interior is also dented. But with this car and its carbon fiber body, there is much less damage. That is, of course, a great benefit to the vehicle occupants, and the risk of injury is very low. The BMW i3 can travel a good 160 kilometers before needing a charge, and you're on the go in an environmentally friendly way. We have uns gemessen an einem we decided to compete with a combustor, so if we compare the entire life cycle from the production to the actual use, it shows that our i3, our MCV Mega City vehicle, has 50% less global warming potential than a 118D. When the BMW i3 begins rolling off the assembly line and hits the market, it will certainly shine as an ideal vehicle for urban areas. Thanks to its electric drive and the use of the most modern materials, BMW demonstrates that mobility and environmental protection do not need to be a contradiction in terms. Quite to the contrary. A lot of people tend to equate sustainability with recycling alone and not with aesthetics. From the very outset, the BMW i team thought about how to bring sustainable premium quality to life for customers inside the automobile. That was the brief for sustainability specialist Simone Lemper-Kindler. And I always say that I have the best job in the world. For example, when it comes to choosing renewable raw materials to meet the high standards of a car interior, such as door trim panels and natural fibers, or leather for inside the automobile, processed with natural substances only. The tanning agent used is an extract from olive tree leaves. Even the car key is sustainably manufactured the source material of the new biopolymer key is based on castor oil gained from pressed castor seeds. Whether renewable raw materials or automobile production based on regenerative energy sources, BMW i sustainability encompasses the entire value creation chain. Even the owner's manual is sustainable. All the materials are subjected to rigorous screening, of course and they bear a seal of approval too, such as the veneer made of open pore eucalyptus wood with the FSC seal for products from ecological forestry. 
These materials look wonderful in the car. In this way, sustainability plays a very big role. Together with her colleagues, Simone Lemper Kindler ensures that the idea of sustainability takes on concrete shape in all areas of BMW I. This means that sustainability not only gives me a positive feeling, but also looks great. BMW's Leipzig plant, the future has already begun. Instead of car bodies being welded up from steel sections, the protective thermoplastic cover is being heated, ready for fitting onto the carbon fiber passenger cell of the BMW i3. For many people, sustainability is a very abstract concept, and one that has become worn out and vague through constant use and misuse. For me and my colleagues, though, sustainability has a very concrete meaning. Because the car body of the BMW i3 is completely clad in thermoplastic, with individual thermoplastic elements that are less than half the weight of steel. Almost like the skin of the human body, the thermoplastic external skin protects the vehicle from all environmental influences. Rust-free surface protection, which is also energy saving and therefore sustainable in the production process. Another advantage is that the thermoplastic is to some degree elastic, so slight contact with another object in a car park no longer results in a permanent dent as it used to. And any damage to the paintwork can be quickly remedied by simply touching up. That's how tangible and practical sustainability can be. One question we asked ourselves was, which step in the production process of an automobile uses the most energy? And that is the painting process. What's new with the BMW i3 is that all the outer skin components, such as the bumpers and front, rear and side elements, can be painted as individual components, thus saving resources. In contrast to steel bodies, there is no more need for the whole body to be warmed and dried in several work steps. Moreover, the plant produces no effluent. We only need a quarter of the energy that normally has to be invested in this process. One advantage for the customer is that the individual components can be finished in different colors. Therefore, unlike a car body which is painted in one piece, various color combinations are possible. This project appealed to me right from the start. For an engineer like me, the opportunity to create a thermoplastic external skin for an entire car is nothing short of a dream come true.
three years ago, we built the first ever factory which produces carbon fiber parts on a large scale. Today, we're building the cars of tomorrow. How did we achieve this? With a light touch. Carbon fiber reduces weight, which increases range. But first, we had to reinvent the car and how to build it. All our machines and equipment are new or redesigned. We're the first company ever to do this. For us, electric mobility means more than just a new drivetrain. We are striving for totally emission-free mobility and total driving pleasure. With the BMW i-models, we are on the right track.